Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. My name is Ksenia and I make videos for people who, like myself, are going through the family-based immigration process. I'm not an immigration attorney. My videos are based on publicly available information, my own experience, and the experience of my subscribers. And the purpose of my channel is to give you guys the confidence to go through this process completely on your own. In today's video, I would like to talk to you guys about how to best attach photographic evidence of your bona fide marriage for your green card application. So I get this question quite frequently and that is because USCIS doesn't necessarily provide specific guidance on how to attach these kind of photographs. There are definitely things that you should be and should not be doing when attaching photographic evidence of your marriage. So we will talk about it all today. In case you are new to this entire process, there are two ways in which you can submit your original I-130 petition, which is the petition for alien relative, essentially the first step in the uh, family-based green card process, and you can submit the I-130 petition either online or by mail. It's all uh, about what you personally prefer, but in either which way, you will be required to submit evidence of bona fide marriage to your spouse. Now, photographs of you and your spouse together are not the most important evidence. That is not to say that photographs are completely unimportant. Photos of you and your spouse together are one of the best ways of proving uh, your relationship over time. So let's first talk about how to attach photographs in the online I-130 application. You will notice towards the end of the application, there will be a portion asking you to upload all the different types of evidence. And USCIS guides you specifically what kind of evidence you need to upload in which section. The bona fide marriage evidence has its own section. That is where you will be uploading the photographs. Although there is not a limit on how many files you can upload in the section, I personally do not recommend uploading photographs one by one uh, because it can get very overwhelming both for you and the person reviewing your case later on. It can overshadow all the other evidence that you may be uploading in the section. Instead, what I suggest you do is create a PDF document, which will include the photographs all in one well-organized file, and then you can upload that PDF document into the evidence section. Just make sure that the file name reflects what kind of evidence uh, this is. And so if you're uploading a PDF of your marriage evidence, of your photographs, you can name it, for instance, bona fide marriage photographs or just photographs of relationships, something like that. Now on the screen, I will also demonstrate kind of like a sample, an idea, and under each photograph, you can annotate what exactly this photo reflects, who is in the photo, uh, when it was taken, and where. If you wish, you can attach screenshots of social media posts. And if you would like to attach screenshots of your conversations or maybe screenshots of your call logs, you can also do that. Another question I get asked is how many pictures exactly should I be including? It is totally up to you. There is not a limit. Um, if you feel like you are lacking in other types of evidence that maybe photographs is one of the um, only types of evidence that you have with your spouse, um, you can certainly upload as many as you wish, but I would not uh, go more than 25 or maybe up to 50, but definitely no more than that. If you have photos with each other's family members, that also would be a good idea to include. And if there is any additional photographs that you wish for them to see, or maybe after submitting the application, you remember that there's photos that you didn't send, you're obviously also welcome to bring them to your 
uh, green card interview and you can show additional photographs there. I do get asked sometimes if you can upload videos and stuff like that and the answer is no, you cannot attach videos. Now let's talk about sending the photographs of your marriage when you're submitting your I-130 application by mail. The general idea is very similar. You do not want to be sending photos on their own. You want to make sure that if you are sending photographs, you are either printing them on a regular printer size paper, just like what we talked about earlier in this video, uh, the same type of file you can create on your computer and just print it out. Now, if you don't have an opportunity to print out photos, you can also just securely attach them to a printer size paper, such as you can glue them or you can tape them securely to that printer size paper. But again, do not send any photographs on their own. Do not attach any kind of bags with photos in them. Another question I frequently get is, can I send a photo album? The answer is no. You should not be sending a photo album with pictures in it. USCIS will not attempt to uh, photocopy a photo album. They prefer that whatever evidence you're sending in uh, is able to be easily disassembled uh, for the purposes of making photocopies and scanning them into digital form. If you send a photo album, most likely it will not be looked at and it will be discarded and it will not be returned back to you. However, you can organize a beautiful photo album and bring it with you to your green card interview to show to the USCIS officer. USCIS will not accept flash drives or CDs if you are trying to send in your photos on a flash drive or if you're trying to send in videos on like a flash drive or a, or a disk. USCIS will not accept that for security reasons. They will not even attempt to open uh, your files and it will also be discarded. So anyway, I hope that you found this video useful. Let me know if you have any additional questions. Maybe there's questions that I didn't quite answer. Good luck uh, in your green card application process. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye!